Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Libra. So everybody, thanks for dropping in. I appreciate it. Hope you're well. Libra, what is the overall energy surrounding Libra? Your love life, anything else you need to know? Libra, here we go. This one wants, ooh, manifesting. You may have a Gemini around you. Manifesting love, manifesting something happy. You could be manifesting something here. Wow, Libra, what is going on? Could be a Gemini, could be a Virgo. Somebody's ready to open up, to put those cups on the table. Uh, you could have manifested this yourself. There's something happy here. You have all the tools you need. Okay, Libra, Libra. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's something here. You're looking somewhere for the one. I feel like as though you're kind of tired of waiting. You may be manifesting new love. <laughs> Maybe you're waiting for someone or they're waiting for you. Let's see. Yeah, holding on to the one, looking out there. Some of you are probably tired of waiting and you're going to manifest something else, some happiness, some emotional fulfillment. Could be a Gemini manifesting you, Libra. Yeah, look at that. Going off on a new path, somebody more compatible, uh, teamwork, cooperation. Yeah, you're looking out there for a team player. You're ready to go on a new path. You've been waiting for some kind of communication. And it looks like you're getting tired of waiting. It could be a Gemini who's waiting for you. Yeah, there's this walking away. You're ready to start something new. Look at that. See, you're walking into the light, turning your back on something here. Yeah, you might be moving away from someone, tired of waiting. Maybe you feel like they're not compatible, okay? Or there's someone here who may have walked away from you. They weren't in that, on the same path. I feel like you got two people who are on different paths for different reasons, but I feel like something's about to manifest. Yeah, you've got somebody coming towards you, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, or just somebody who's wanting to do things right, wanting to get to know you. This is someone who's planning for success, Okay, you've got someone who's manifesting. Uh, they want to have success with you. <laughs> Libra. Boy, the cards want to come out. Libra. What does Libra need to know? What's manifesting in your love life here? This could be money. Some of you could be moving on from something. You're tired of waiting. You're ready for something new. Could be. But it looks like you got someone coming around. They want success. They're pl making some plans. Ah, yes, look at that. There you are, Libra. <laughs> Your person could have Taurus in their chart. Virgo or Capricorn. Uh, I feel, yeah, you're definitely in that Empress energy. Somebody wants to get to know you. They're making some kind of plans. We have, yeah, there's this holding back, looking at the details. There's someone who sees you as a keeper. They want to hold on to you. And you're looking out for yourself here. You're protecting yourself. You have a lot of abundance and you're kind of protective of it. Could be money. You may be being very creative. You may be creating something. You want someone compatible. And I feel like someone sees you that way. You know, I feel like you've been waiting for this. It could be yourself waiting here. Uh, but you, I feel as though it's like an energy of you're kind of slowly moving on. It's like you're turning your back on somebody. Maybe you're making other plans. Well, you might be preparing something. You may be saving money for something. Beautiful energy. Yeah, but we've got the Two of Cups. We have a connection here between two people. I feel like you're both wanting the same thing, but it's like you're on different paths. It's like you walked away from them, you got tired of waiting, and now they're coming back towards you. I feel like we got two people who are about to come together that are now going to get on the same page. Mm hmm Libra yes justice there you are you want someone who comes in just right you want someone compatible someone who brings balance into your life so I feel as though you're in this energy you're protecting yourself you're holding on to something but someone is holding on to you they want to get to know you they see you as this empress energy you have a lot to offer I feel like you're going to hold back with this person. You're holding back and waiting for them. You're refusing to budge. You're open to this, but you want them to come towards you. You want them to uh, do things the right way. You want them to come in right. You do see this person as a soulmate. 
I feel, or they see you that way. There's a connection here between two people. There's something just right, okay? Definitely there's some balance. Yeah, look at that nine of swords. Someone has some kind of regret, remorse, or there's a little bit of stress. Maybe you're worried that this person's not right, your protective mode. You're definitely protecting yourself. I can see that, that holding back. You have a lot to offer. Someone sees that. But I feel like you want this person to come towards you. And I don't think you're going to budge. Uh, and I feel like you've got someone here who's very slow. They may be a bit stubborn. Maybe they're holding back. You're waiting for each other. But I feel like the two of you are, there's something here about this justice is balance, doing things right. Somebody maybe has taken too long to show you they appreciate you. It's making you feel like you need to just pull back a little bit. But this is all about the details, looking at all the details. They see you as a keeper. And I feel there's someone who held back. It's like they don't want to let you go, but they're being kind of stubborn. They're being very slow. And they have some regret, some remorse. And you might be worried here, too, if this person, like you're a little bit stressed out, possibly. I feel they could have Gemini in their chart, but they also could have uh, any kind of air energy with this Nine of Swords. Yeah, regret, remorse, sleepless nights. I think there's some unfounded fears. There's a cycle that's ending. Things are about to go in your favor. Somebody wants things to go in their favor here as well. So I feel like you got someone who's coming around just right. They see you as just right. They see you as a good fit. Okay. Uh, they're kind of looking at details. This is someone who takes a lot of time. They're probably kind of slow and you're getting tired of waiting, thinking of just moving on. You have so much to offer here, Libra. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you've got somebody who's coming in. There you go, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You may be thinking of racing off into another direction, but I think you've got someone here who wants to clear something up. They're chasing after you. Somebody does not want you to get away. They're holding on, but yet they're so stubborn for some reason. It could be you just in protective mode like nope i'm not i'm open to this you want love but you're being grounded you're being practical you're looking out for yourself wow yeah so there you go there's somebody here yeah you've got someone here who's got some earth in their chart taurus virgo capricorn or it's somebody who's financially stable this is someone who's making some kind of plans. This is someone who may be a little bit aloof. Like you can, you know, the King of Pentacles is someone who isn't the most emotional. This is someone who's up in their head <clears throat> and there was some kind of indecision. And I feel this is someone who had maybe wanted to rush in, but they're trying to be practical. They're looking at the details. This is somebody who you may have walked away from. They're looking at that situation. This is someone who was aloof, though. They turned their back on their own feelings. Feel they want to come towards you. I see them making plans. They're planning to have success here. So this is someone who's ready for a new beginning. Wow. Eight of Cups moving into that sun. I love this card because it's not always just walking away. Sometimes it's somebody who walked away from you or turned their back on their feelings. You can see someone here who's very practical. I feel they're financially stable. So someone who's made, you know, focused, their life focus is to make money, to plan for the future. You see, this is somebody who may have walked away from love in the past, maybe even walked away from you, but they are definitely... They, they ignored their own feelings is what I think. And I think this person's headed in your direction. Oh, yeah, they're manifesting. They now have all the tools they need. Maybe they were, you know, indecisive in the past. Maybe they weren't sure you were compatible on the same page. I feel like you were on different paths. And I feel this person's ready now to cooperate. They're, they see you as just right. Look at this balance libra look at that yeah this is someone who's kind of pulled back they're looking at things different you're different than others you walked away possibly but i see this person is like there's something here to do with could be a reconciliation i don't feel like you had a relationship with this person i feel like you just want them to come towards you and you're just you're open but you're not going to give to this person there's something different about this person. I feel they see you as different. And I feel they're pulling back and looking at something. It's to do with that balancing their head and their heart energy. 
there's definitely this patience or tempering their thoughts, their emotions. This is someone who maybe didn't see you as right in the past, now sees you that way because they're looking at you differently. You're different than other people. You value yourself. You protect yourself. You plan for the future. You protect your money. I, I feel like you have, there is definitely some chemistry. This person sees you as just right where maybe in the past they didn't and it could be you too. You may change your mind about this person. we have the emperor i was just going to say the emperor <laughs> there it is couldn't even get it out of my mouth i was about to say the empress and out came the emperor yeah this is somebody here who you see this is someone who's very slow somebody possibly self-made they worked very hard you want an emperor you want someone who comes in to take the lead you want someone who knows what they want so i feel like you're tired of waiting because you got someone here who's a little indecisive they're becoming more decisive they don't want you to get away they're chasing after you but i feel like this is someone who lets you get away they were trying to temper their thoughts their emotions their feelings right and uh this person they know exactly what happened so we have this Knight of Pentacles energy. I can't believe how that Emperor came out. Yeah, so there's someone here. This person's kind of pulled back. They're looking at things different. See, they see you differently. They're seeing things from a different perspective. This is somebody who uh, maybe took a long time to approach you in the past. You got tired of waiting, but you see that they're making a decision here. We have the Emperor and the Empress. We have two people who are actually just right for each other. Two people who could bring balance into each other's life, but you need them to come in just right couple of soulmates here two people who want that soulmate connection there's a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning and i feel this person wants things to go in their favor they're coming in to take that lead okay this is someone who probably wanted everything their way uh, they're very slow to react slow to move forward it may have taken this person a long time you might have got tired of just being patient but i feel as though yeah, because I feel like you're ready to take off in another direction. This is an emperor, sometimes someone who wants everything their way, their way of the highway. But you see, they're looking at this, they're seeing things differently. They may be seeing things differently about you or about themselves. That indecision. And you could be feeling indecisive. Should I wait for this person so that I just be patient and just wait? Because you do feel there's chemistry, there's something right about this person. I feel like they weren't sure you were the right person in the past and now they're seeing you differently and I don't know why and I it's because they've kind of you know gone into that introspection they've been moving very slowly they're they're definitely somebody who likes to plan ahead they like to have success they want to make sure this is someone who once they figure out what they want they go after it four of pentacles Libra, Libra, why have we got this energy here? There we go. Yeah, this is somebody who's been working very hard. This could be you. This is someone who wants to work on something. They, they see you as a keeper. They want to work. You may have worked with this person. They could have been your boss. You may have had a, so much beautiful creative energy. You may have worked very hard for this person. Maybe you felt they weren't valuing you. I, there could be work involved here for some of you as well. I see a boss figure. This is someone who wants everything their way, their way of the highway. They didn't see your perspective or your point of view possibly, but they're seeing that now because maybe you've walked away. I think that you're, it's like your patience may have kind of run out but i think this person's chasing you now they want to work something out they see you as a keeper and i feel like there is definitely a lot of creative energy where there's two people who could work together you're both kind of stubborn <laughs> you're both holding on to something yeah this is someone who they got to make up their mind, whatever it is. Uh, they could be an Aries for some of you as well. I, I see that energy, but it could be anyone. I also see the Pisces and Sagittarius. Yeah, this is somebody who's working on stability. Somebody, uh, this could be you too. You have a lot to offer here. You're the Empress. You're saving your money. You're protecting yourself. You're working very hard on your financial foundation, but you want somebody who puts the effort in, somebody who has your back, someone you can rely on. Okay, I feel like you're kind of self-reliant too. Uh, you may have that emperor energy yourself. It's in the middle, both of you. And uh, you have some very strong boundaries. You want someone who puts the effort in. You need to know you can rely on them that, to build something beautiful, to build a foundation. 
So you are looking out for yourself here. There's no doubt. And I feel they are too. But I feel like this person, I think they want to build something with you. I do. I feel like they see you as someone they can count on, they can rely on, somebody would have their back. They see you as a hard worker. Uh, they see you as this keeper. You've probably seen them this way, but I feel like you waited for so long for this person who's moving very slow, right? This is someone who takes their time. They have their own way of doing things. Yeah, see, there you go. You've got, yeah, see, there's somebody here. You find this person very charming, very sexy. I see there's a lot of creative energy. They could have Aries, Leo, or Sag in their chart. Now, this is somebody who's very focused on that physical energy, but they see you as someone who's very hardworking, very focused, very dedicated. They see you as very strong. This is like you know your mind. You know what you want, right? The Empress always knows. They see you as a hard worker. I feel like this person is too. You have something that's very similar. It's two people who have this connection. There's something that connects you, okay? And they, they this is somebody who knows they need to come in and take the lead. Uh, I think you find this person very charming, very attractive, but you're looking out for yourself. You want them to come towards you just right. You want them to take that lead. Like you want that kind of energy of someone who knows what they want. They're not afraid to go after it. You, you need this person to kind of come and chase you, uh, so to speak, okay? Generally, when, you know, when someone's in that energy and they make up their mind, they come in, they put the hard work in. This is someone who's worked very hard to create a legacy. They already have it. This is a self-made person. And I feel like you're in that energy as well. This beautiful Empress and Emperor energy, it's this connection between the two of you. Tell me about justice. Why is this here? Libra. Libra. There we go. Ah, yes. Very sweet. Yes. It's keeping it simple. This is balanced energy. I feel like <laughs> if this is someone you already know that you've been waiting to move things forward, maybe take it to another level to commit I feel as though this is somebody who, you may have a new crush too. You might be, you know, you're this person's, you want that king of rods. You may have another person here. It's quite possible. It sort of looks like you're walking away from one person towards another. And now this person wants to come in. They want to hold on to you. They don't want to let go. They want to make this work. They're planning somehow to make this work, how to make this work, but they want things to go in their favor. And you may be a little stressed. Maybe this is someone who wants everything their way, their way or the highway. You might be reminiscing. There's someone here who misses you. And I feel, but I feel like this person's going to keep it simple. Uh, some of you may even just have a new crush that wants to come towards you as well. Because I kind of see two energies, but yet it could be one person going through these motions. Tell me about this. This is keeping things simple, showing somebody you care about them. All right. But maintaining a balance. Two people who, you could be just crushing on each other, but for some of you, you're definitely reminiscing. There's someone here who maybe misses you, but you're valuing yourself. You may offer this person something, okay, just to be fair, to do things right. It's keeping it simple. You might friend zone this person as well. Some of you may have a friend who wants to approach you. They may be crushing on you. They may be kind of stressing out that it's, you're moving on. There's some cycle ending. Some of you are leaving the past in the past, moving towards something that's going to go in your favor. Ooh, you got a lot going. There's a lot more than meets the eye here. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune energy. There we go. Yeah, so there's a tower. Someone's coming towards you very suddenly. Something's going to happen. Feel like you're, you want someone who's just right. You want someone who balances out your life. And I feel like you're reminiscing on the past about something that ended. There was a cycle that ended. The tower came down. But I feel this person's coming towards you to open up. They're going to put the cups on the table. They're going to come in and take the lead. Now, what I feel is happening is you got somebody who was very stubborn. They wanted everything their way. But see, you held back and you protected yourself. You, you refused to budge with this person. You wanted them to, uh, to work maybe on themselves, that stubborn energy of what's holding them back. Because there you are as a partner. You're somebody who would look out for this person. We've got two people having each other's back. That this is 
but you're protecting yourself. You feel like this person is kind of wants everything their way. And I feel like what's going to happen, they're going to temper that need, that passion, that need to be in control, to be the boss, because if not, you're going to move on. And that's what I think they're afraid of. And they're, you know, they're starting to become more decisive and they're starting to make plans. Now they're looking at all this energy here that it's possible you're walking away, you're losing patience. But through this energy, they're looking at, at you differently. See, this is somebody who values you. They may have not have felt you were on the same page, the same path, you had the same beliefs, you know. This is to do not just compromise, and uh, this is and it's a lot of it's to do with compatibility two people who build each other up okay some this person's going through something here i feel they need to come in and take the lead but some of you could have two people here and you may have another person some of you definitely there could be a choice between two you may have someone who's very charming and very sexy i see gemini i see virgo I see Aries for some of you, maybe even uh, Scorpio energy. Sagittarius is pretty strong and Pisces. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, wow. Oh, Libra. Just keep valuing yourself. There's someone who sees you as this empress. They want to connect. Uh, it could be just a friend who wants to take it to another level that's been crushing about you. They've been trying to maybe show you um, you know, how to do things right, but keeping it kind of simple. So I feel like there's a decision here that you're going to be making. And uh, there's a cycle ending and a new one beginning. And I think what's happening is, I do feel like this is going to be your person. I, I feel as though you want this person to take the lead. You want them to be strong, to be brave, to know what they want. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Yeah, commitment, marriage, a foundation. Yeah, so I feel like there is definitely something here to do with the, the past, maybe a past commitment. Maybe there was a, somebody was in a relationship. Somebody could have children. Maybe the tower came down. There's a cycle that's ending. It could be with this person, but it could be yourself as well. Some of you want children. You want marriage. You want someone who's just right. I see marriage. I, I see keeping it simple. I see a crush developing. But it doesn't always have to be a crush. Sometimes it's just somebody who wants children and marriage. Like, look at this beautiful energy. Someone sees you as just right. They see you as marriage material. They see you as someone they can have children with. Uh, if you already have children, I see a possible blended family. There's something about to happen very quickly. If someone's having a major aha moment, but a cycle is going to end, okay? Someone is afraid that it's over. You're going to move towards another person. They need to come in and take the lead because you have a friend or somebody here that wants to reach out. And I feel like you've got this choice. Tell me about this tower. Where's this leading? There we go. Yeah, taking a leap of faith. It could be an Aries. Somebody here is reflecting on the past, a past relationship. Or just ready to take a leap of faith, to take a risk. I think you got someone who's going to leap towards you very quickly. Now, you could have this. This could be your energy as well, where you know what you want. You're valuing yourself. You want love. You want a soulmate connection. You're very determined. You want children, a family. You want marriage. But you want someone who's compatible. And I think you got someone here who sees you as just right. And I actually feel... For those of you who don't want children, this is just family. It's it's creating memories, okay? It's, it's about that very sweet, innocent kind of love. It's keeping it simple, okay? I think there's something happening. you got someone who's about to take a leap of faith. Now, they could be a Scorpio. They could be an Aries. This is somebody who's about to take that risk because they don't want you, if you have that energy in your chart, Libra, to go off on a new path with another person. This is someone who needs to reach out. Yeah, this is you. There's someone's ready to take a leap of faith to do with commitment and marriage. And you are reflecting. I feel like you're reflecting on something in your past or this person is. And it has to do with being just right about balance, fairness, commitment, doing the right thing. Someone wants to, you want someone who's just right. You're reflecting on the past. You're not taking a risk with somebody unless they come towards you in the right way, unless they commit. That's what I feel. 
yeah you want love you <laughs> you are ready for love you've had a tough time here like you this is somebody who's you're very loving and nurturing and caring and you want someone who gives you that you want that reciprocity you want things right i feel like there's someone is ready to take that leap Tell me about the magician. Why is the magician here? There we go. Yeah, there's something evolving, something changing. Somebody is manifesting you. They're either coming back around or they're ready to go with the flow. You're ready for change. And I feel like this is the thing. You're Maybe you're changing your mind about one person. Maybe they wanted everything their way. They didn't see your value and worth. They were stubborn. You protected yourself. Maybe you've decided not to put any more work into this person. You want somebody... Uh, who builds you up, someone you feel safe and secure. You want someone to work for you. Like you need to, I feel like you really need to see that. You need to have that kind of person that you know has your best interests. Could be somebody you work with. This could actually just be job related where you're working very hard on your, you're holding on to money. You're working very hard for something here. Uh, it's definitely a beautiful creative energy. This is somebody here, like this person, yeah. Like, But I, like I said, this is someone who's tempering that, right? That's what I feel. They're going to come in. They're definitely um, still in that energy, but it's toned it down a bit. They're tempering that need, that need to just focus on that passionate energy, the physical, where they're ready to connect on an emotional level. So they could just do and say some very sweet things to uh, to you to get this going in their favor they feel like it may not go in their favor they may feel like you've gone off and started another bit um, another relationship they're afraid of taking a little bit of a risk here yeah it looks like you could be going off on a new path you want marriage you want commitment you want love you want reciprocity uh, i feel like you're not going to offer this person a whole lot you're going to hold back i feel like you're being you're not just protecting yourself, but a little bit stubborn. I think you both are. <laughs> oh, tell me about this ten of water. I do see f emotional fulfillment at the end. I see somebody opening up. Somebody knows they need to open up if they want things to go in their favor. Maybe they have regrets for not risking that in the past. Maybe they're afraid they couldn't do it just right, or you weren't the right person. And maybe you're feeling that way. But I see you getting that emotional fulfillment. I see you sort of holding back a little bit, trying to do everything just right, making the right choices for yourself. Oh, I think you're going to end up in a commitment here. Tell me more about this emperor. There we go. Yeah, this is someone here who's weighing the pros and the cons. This could be you weighing the pros and the cons between two people as well. But this is somebody where something's off balance. And I feel like you got someone who wanted everything their way. They're being very stubborn. They weren't putting any work. You, you're protecting yourself because you didn't feel you could rely on them. They're making a, you got someone who's about to make a decision here. This is yourself in the middle too, making a choice possibly between two. You got someone procrastinating a little. This is someone who wants what they want. They're used to getting what they want. Ten of water. Yeah, see, holding back. Someone's been holding back their feelings, their emotions. You're protecting yourself. You see, you're not putting all your cups out there with anyone unless they come towards you. This is where someone needs to make that offer to become unstuck. There's that teamwork, cooperation, compatibility. Someone's holding back something is keeping this person stuck what is this energy i think you're just protecting yourself you want this person to open up you want that emotional fulfillment you want to be happy you're not budging until you get what you want and they want what they want i see two stubborn people i see the emperor and the empress come on you guys <laughs> oh libra definitely i got a sad energy like you may be walking away from someone here who's you know not right for you towards somebody who is right it could be that simple and you're making that decision you may have an emperor i see the emperor and the empress you know i see you making a choice maybe there's something that's not working it could be a job you're moving away but there's someone who's not putting in the effort like you don't want to put any more work into it and you got someone who's holding back who's stubborn purging and releasing yeah it's time to release 
somebody's holding on to something that's keeping them back from from opening up emotionally there's either stubborn or they're protecting their money definitely someone here has a lot of money they're financially stable very self-made they've worked very hard to get where they're at so they're protecting their money so they focus on that physical energy right they don't want to connect necessarily emotionally they're focused on the physical but they see you as this empress know what's going to happen they need to purge and release this person needs to let go of something or you do i see some aquarius energy so they could have some aquarius in their chart libra or gemini yeah they're letting go of something this is someone maybe feels like you're out of their league or they just whoever they are they're kind of selfish and stubborn but they need to let go of that feel like they're trying to release something that's been holding them back what is this star what's being released here boy oh boy this is a tough we've got a couple of very stubborn people who you're holding on to each other but you're neither one of you are putting in any effort you want each of you want the other person to do the work <laughs> yeah reaching out yeah someone's i feel like someone's purging and releasing they want to heal a situation you got someone who wants to reach out i feel like neither one of you are talking you're not reciprocating you're both holding on to each other but you're not letting go oh my gosh so they do want to reach out but you're afraid here like there's something you're afraid maybe they're afraid they're protecting their money they're afraid to be exploited maybe you are I feel like you're both in a very similar energy but you are this empress energy like you're here twice you may have two people who see you that way you're going to pick whoever's right. I can see you making the right just Whoever comes towards you just right. You're reflecting on a past relationship. You're not going to risk anything. You're not risking your heart here is what I feel. Okay. You're protecting your heart is what I'm feeling. And I think this person, there's some kind of regrets. And I'm not so sure it's you regretting it. I feel like it's the other person. You just want commitment. You want to know this person's going to treat you right. They're going to be fair. You don't want to be exploited. You don't want to keep giving. You're going to hold back giving until this person shares. They have to share because I feel they're selfish. For some reason, this person's... But they want you. I can tell. Yeah, they want to reach out, you know, a little bit at a time. Maybe they're going to just do sweet things for you. Show you in little bits. But you want that commitment, and I feel like even, I do see a little bit of worry here, uh, but it could be unfounded fears, like maybe this person's afraid to take a leap of faith, to commit. There could be some unfounded fears here, because the Nine of Swords can be that way. This is someone who wants a do-over, they want another opportunity, but they hold back, and I feel like you're not, unless they reciprocate, they share of themselves, and open up emotionally, I don't think you're going to go for it you will you may have several people reaching out to you as well yeah someone needs to offer up that cup but they're holding back their feelings right they haven't offered them they're very cautious oh libra yeah i feel like this person does they know what they need to do they need to stop holding back they need to release those fears they need to it could be just insecurities maybe they you know this is somebody who usually has a really big ego sometimes people hide behind that ego right they hold back they feel like you're out of their league but they act in that emperor way tell me about the two of one of pentacles why is this here there we go yeah this is the one making the decision who's the right person some of you've got two people but there's this beautiful passionate energy two people find each other very attractive you're both very passionate you're both very created to be honest the two of you could build something absolutely beautiful together but this person needs to open up they need to they're they're cautious they're too cautious about opening up they know they need to they need to let go of whatever it is they're holding on to i mean it doesn't have to necessarily be money or anything but it kind of looks that way or just that stubborn energy whatever it is it's all in the details what are the details let's have a look at that i don't want to say someone's selfish or stubborn but I do see someone who's self-made. They've worked very hard to build a legacy, you know, and they're protecting it. And you may be in the same energy, like you both may have some of that. 
what they don't realize is you're someone who would have their back you would work very hard yeah you got somebody with an ego right they're very successful they likely get a lot of attention they're used to being chased that may be why they get chased a lot because they have money so they've they're very protective and they become stubborn maybe a little selfish that's what's holding this person back there you go four of pentacles yeah this person's obsessed with their money see it's unhealthy it's toxic now, some of you they may have capricorn in their chart this is someone who's worked very hard they're obsessed with their money but they're obsessed with you and i i feel like they're just crazy about you they got to deal with this so let's see where this goes i feel like they want to uh, reach out they want to open up and share their feelings this person wants love but they're obsessed with money and uh but they're obsessed with you at the same time uh, we got taurus virgo capricorn energy pretty much every sign is here but it's really an uh, this is really an energy read i feel this is the outcome of this situation there we go there's a lot there's a lot like i said there's a lot going on here with what this person's holding on to they're holding on to baggage maybe they were in a relationship and uh, someone didn't pull their weight they had to do all the work so they've set themselves free you know and they now they get people chasing them this is somebody with an ego because people chase them because they have money they have everything so they're protective but you look at that this is someone who so they just focus on that passionate energy that physical energy someone who just comes in when they want attention they want everything their way you may set yourself free from this person and i think that's what they're worried about in fact this person sees you as someone who probably does get a lot of attention because they see you like the empress so that's the thing they got to deal with this this person's they got an unhealthy attachment to money uh, whatever it is or maybe they had an unhealthy toxic relationship in the past so we have this tower this epiphany yeah someone's relationship may have come down but i think you got someone who's going to come in very suddenly somebody wants to build something with you there's justice here libra someone sees you as just right they see you as marriage material there this is someone who's looking at things from a different perspective and angle uh, this is someone who's very cautious moves slow they're definitely planning to reach out at some point Whew. but you are protecting yourself too right you want a partner you want someone you can rely on that makes you feel safe and secure wow this is about a house a home a family it's about creating memories it's, I, I think your your in your love is very sweet they think you're adorable they think you're just right i don't think they it's not that they don't trust you it's just what they're holding on to from a past relationship so they just get chased a lot from people um you know and they've got this ego and i really feel like this is the heart of the reading here and i think they're looking at things from a different angle they want to approach you maybe talk to you about this okay i see this obsession though you know this person's afraid of repeating mistakes of the past you see they're worried about if they come towards you and commit it'll happen whatever happened before and that's what i think this person's afraid of so yeah you've got this there you go yeah this person's definitely got an ego they're used to getting what they want they're very sexy attractive very charming they get lots of attention so their ego's a little out of control here but there's that page of air see there's something this person has never told you there's something that they held back and they want to clear things up they're looking for some kind of clarity about how to talk to you they're looking for some kind of answers it could be within themselves here trying to gain some kind of clarity about why uh, they are the way they are I, I feel they're aware that they're selfish i feel that they're aware of their issues uh, you definitely you may not have been at first when you met this person but i think this person didn't see you as just right or you didn't see them as right but this i, I see you both pulling back i see this patience temperance uh, watch your words you always do you're in that empress energy you're loving and i feel like you're compassionate to whatever they tell you you're going to be compassionate but i still think you're until they do things right by you and commit i don't think you're going to go for this person because it's it may seem unhealthy and toxic this person may have some emotional issues they're holding on to All right so they are looking for answers and clarity they did hold back some kind of truth or they didn't tell you everything make sure that they do 
page of air one more on the page of air and we'll wrap this up heavy big reading guys sorry but this was a kind of confusing yeah this is somebody who held back see they kept everything to themselves they wanted to indulge themselves and they were being indulged by a lot of people and so they'd be have that this ego has grown but they want to set themselves free from this offering one cup and nothing more somebody right <laughs> a little bit full of themselves they know they need to set them free yeah they're gonna they want to talk to you i see some talk back and forth you see someone lost control they lost control of this situation they're just out of control their ego they know it yeah there's that truth there's something that needs to be cut out they need to gain they lost control you you probably went off you're getting attention from other people they see that you're possibly got others reaching out you may be making a decision i feel they're coming after you and we have the ace of swords that truth success victory the truth shall set you free there you go or them i should say all right libra i wish you the best crazy energy i'm hoping this works out but this is the, what this person needs to deal with okay something unhealthy an unhealthy attachment to something that's holding them back from sharing their love they love you i can see it but you know whether or not if you don't get that reciprocation i don't see you leaping into it you will eventually go off on another path because you're very strong okay you're in your power you have the power here more this person's they got the emperor energy but it's just an ego okay it's not really how they feel inside so take care wish you the best bye for now